instrument. She says, it's best if you start when you're young, like Mozart. By the time he was four, he was a musical genius. Well, sure. But in his day, all the good TV shows hadn't been invented. Anyway, she told me to pick an instrument I'd like to play. Well, I thought about the piano, but nah, I'm always losing my keys. The French horn, I don't even speak the language. How am I supposed to play it? So I finally decided on the perfect instrument for someone who doesn't like practicing. The bagpipes! They're great, because nobody can tell what you're playing, and they usually tell you to stop long before you're supposed to. It's a good thing we're building our rocket ship at my top secret spot. Yeah! We don't want anyone finding out about it. Like Spies, Lulu, and Annie. Hello, boys. Lulu and Annie, how'd you find us? Everyone knows about your top secret spot, Tubby. What is this thing? Ha! Huh? Don't you know a rocket ship when you see one? I guess not, Tubby. Well, this one is specially made to shoot us to Mars. Cancel the trip to Mars, Tubby. Looks like you're going tree climbing instead. Give me a hand, Iggy. Huh? <laughs> there. We're hmm. aimed at Mars. Can we come too, Tubby? Hmm. I have to check with mission control. <laughs> Okay, Lulu. But you have to get some stuff we'll need to explore Mars. Important supplies like sandwiches. Yippee! Oh, boy! We get to do some real make-believe space exploring. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry! Let's blast off before the girls get back. These might come in handy. I heard there are canals on Mars. I can't wait to swim on another planet. Ready for takeoff, Commander Annie? Aye, aye, Captain Lulu. <gasps> they left without us. Wait a minute. This isn't supposed to be real. This is pretend. <sighs> we waited a whole hour and they didn't come back. Mars must be really far away if it takes that long to get back. Huh? It's from the boys. It says... We're on Mars. It sure is swell here. Tell our moms we won't be home for supper. Gosh. Help. We're being attacked by Martians. Get the police. <gasps> Help. Police. The boys are being attacked. Police. <laughs> Officer McNabb. Officer McNabb. Quick. The boys are being attacked. Attacked? Oh, goodness. Wow. Where are the boys, Lulu? On Mars. The boys built this rocket ship, and at first we thought it was just make-believe, but they must have made it to Mars. Look. I think the boys are pulling your legs, young ladies. <laughs> the boys got us good this time. What a joke. 
They really went to the cops for help. <laughs> Hurry up and clear all this stuff away before Lulu and Annie get back. I thought we were going to play together. But they just wanted to play a trick on us. Well, I'm good at that game, too. Hey, fellas! Thank goodness you got back. <laughs> I was so worried. We tried to get oh. Officer McNabb to help, but he didn't believe you really went to Mars. What happened? Well, right after we landed on Mars, a Martian came popping out of a crater looking for us. So I jumped on its back. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> oh, you brave, brave boys. What if those Martians come looking for you? Oh, I'm going home to hide. We got her so again. Fine. <laughs> okay, Annie, you're on. A flying saucer! I saw a flying saucer! They flew through the air and I saw a Martian get out! Boy, we really scared them. Now they're starting to imagine things. Ready for a blast off? Aye, aye, sir! Yikes! Look! Nah. This looks like... Don't move, human. <laughs> Stay away! Relax, Tubby. It's just me and Annie. You should have seen your faces. What you doing scaring us like that? What a trick! I thought that's the game you wanted to play. Well, not anymore, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, come on. Let's go to Mars for real this time. Oh, boy! Ready for blast off, Captain Tubby. Contact. Wow, Tubby, this feels so real. That's because it is real. Gosh! All that rocket needed was a little Z-Buck to plutonium nastry. Actually, this sandwich could use some too. Notice that no one's happy with the type of hair they've got? Like my mom. She hates her hair so much, she pays someone to fix it every week. And my friend Annie, she doesn't like her straight hair. She wishes it was curly. Me, I have curly hair, and I wish it was straight. And my dad, he's the only one I know who's got nothing to complain about. My friend Annie has a cat named Dash, because it has a dash of white at the tip of its tail. It's a nice cat, but I think it's a little weird in the head. You see, the last time I was over at Annie's, I saw Dash drinking out of the toilet. Annie said cats do that all the time because the water's cool in there. What I'm wondering is, how does Annie know that? It. What? Give me back my drum. Yeah. Gotcha. The ice. Ah. Ah. Alvin, wait. 
Please, I didn't take your drum, but I can help you find it. You can help me find it? Sure. Show me where you had it last. Come on! I put it down here and went inside. And when I came out, it was gone. Are you sure you can find it? Sure, I'm sure. Of course I'm sure, because I'm the spider. Oh, brother, not the spider again. That's right. Just like a spider, I spin a web to catch thieves. I don't see a web. But I see a footprint. I don't. That's because you have an untrained eye, not like the spider, a master of disguises. Well, Mr. Master, you don't have a disguise. Good point. I gotta get one. This disguise is perfect. Your dad will think I'm looking the other way so I can catch him off guard. What do you mean, my dad? He's got nothing to do with Alvin's drop. Your dad took it, and I'll prove it. Lulu's dad took it? Nah. Alvin, wait! He's taking a nap! He's always taking a nap. So you think if my dad's shoe fits the footprint you found, it proves he took Alvin's drum? Of course. It's elementary. Only there's no shoes here. This calls for drastic measures. Drastic? You mean crazy. Come on, Alvin. Let's get out of here. My dad's gonna wake up for sure. <laughs> Ah! Oh my... Hey, come back with my shoe! Stop! Huh? What kind of weird creature? I've got to get my eyes checked. Phew! That was close. Too close, Tubby. You're gonna get us in big trouble. Yeah, good thing I'm in disguise. So if the shoe can't come to the footprint, then the footprint will go to the shoe. How do I let you talk me into these things, Tubby? Huh? <gasps> ah! I can't see! when Tubby's the spider. Dad's old marching band uniform. He used to play the drum. Hey, this gives me an idea. No, Tubby, Dad'll go crazy if anything happens to that. Lulu, this drum will crack this case once and for all. Hmm. Now listen, this is what we have to do. When I find out what's going on... <gasps> if anyone steals my dad's drum, Tubby, you'll be sorry. That's just what's gonna happen. Just watch. Gosh! My dad does have Alvin's drum. I thought he would. You see, he figures the little one isn't so bad after all. I can't believe you were right. Yep. Alvin was beaten on it all this time, and your dad couldn't take his nap. <gasps> I might have known you were uh -oh. behind this, Tubby Tompkins. You won't get away from me that easily. Oops. <laughs> oh, no. I didn't want to break Alvin's drum. I just couldn't stand the noise he was making. Uh, Dad, that's your drum. My old marching drum? I guess my dad'll get his nap after all. Dad drove me to school the other day, and boy did he get mad when he got stuck behind this student driver. 
So he drove fast, hit the brakes, got really close, and swerved in and out of traffic, yelling, This guy doesn't know how to drive. He's going fast, hitting the brakes, getting really close, and swerving in and out of traffic. That's when I noticed that all the other people driving were mad, too, honking and yelling and waving their fists at the student driver. Even the teacher in the car was yelling. That's when I figured out why there are so many bad drivers on the road. I mean, once people graduate from driving school and get their license, they must hit the road looking for revenge. to impress Gloria. It sickens me. Me too, Tubby. Tubby? Here, ma'am. Allow me to help you across this dangerous intersection. But I... It's no problem at all. Helping others is huh? what I do best. <gasps> no, no. <laughs> no need to thank me. My pleasure, ma'am. But I didn't want to cross the street. Uh-huh. Boys. My roller skating skills are sure to impress Gloria. Hi, Gloria! If you're borrowing my roller skates just so you can show off to Gloria, I'm taking them back. What? What do I have to do to get Gloria to notice me? Oh. How about getting a gold medal for bravery? Like that guy who saved a girl from a burning building. Wow. A gold medal for bravery. That'd do it for sure. But who could I save? You could save Gloria from drowning. Nah, she might catch cold. What about Lulu? You could save her from the rapids. Ouch! Oh. Ow! Yeah! Lulu! I could save her just before she hits the rapids on a boat! I'd be a hero for sure. But how are you gonna get her in a boat heading for the rapids? Hello, my golden swallow. You are a vision of loveliness today. What do you want to borrow, Tubby? Nothing. I just wanted to know if you'd like to go rowboating with me, my little white speckled dove. No way, Tubby. Last time we went rowboating, my arms were sore for days. <laughs> Why, I'll row, my, uh, yellow-bellied sapsucker. <laughs> okay, Tubby. Just you sit and relax, my rose petal. Everything's under control. <sighs> Here. Let me shade those delicate eyeballs from the sun. Neat. Uh-oh. Your father's guitar. Oh, that's okay. I didn't know how to play it anyways. What are you looking for, Tubby? Look, it's a lake monster. Huh? My mistake. It was only a submarine. There aren't any submarines in lakes. Uh-oh. I dropped the oars. Don't worry, Tubby. I'll swim to shore and get help. No. I mean, you'll get your dress wet. I wore my swim trunks. 
Wow, that's pretty lucky. Hold still. I'll be back to rescue you in a sec. Hurry, Tubby. The rapids are coming up. Don't worry, Lulu. I'll save you. <laughs> We're gonna need a witness so I can get that medal. Iggy, go find Officer McNabb. Make sure she doesn't really go down the rapids, Tubby. Poor Tubby's probably really worried, and I'm drifting to shore on my own. Just grab on, Lulu, and I'll pull you in. Hey! Oops. Sorry, Lulu. Tubby! Ah! Wow! What a ride! Yeah, too bad about the waterfall. Waterfall? waterfall? Officer McNabb! Lulu's in terrible danger! Lead on! Now we've really got to save her! Hold on, Lulu! Ah! Tubby! Right this way, Officer McNabb! <gasps> Hold on there, Tubby! Ah! You'd better let me handle this. Hey! Find your own person to rescue! Ah! Whoa! You'll get a gold medal for this, Lulu. Hiya, Lulu. I got you something for saving us. Oh, Tubby. How sweet. <gasps> Getting your parents to buy you a puppy can be tough. So here's Lulu's guide to getting a dog. Number one, don't ask for a dog. Ask your parents for a lizard, a boa constrictor, a tarantula. And by the time you get to fruit bat, they'll want you to have the cutest dog in the pound. Number two, tie a string around one of your stuffed animals and take it out for a drag around the block. This works best on a sunny Saturday when all your neighbors are out mowing the lawn. And if these don't work, Pull out all the stops. Tell him you want a baby brother. Before you know it, that dog will be yours. <laughs> <laughs>